Shkoyach. Okay, let's get moving here. Okay, so we finished basically uh, some practical dinam of Bishal Akum, Pas Akum, and all that. Next din in Kitzah Shkhanach is like this. The Mishnah says in Chulin, Cholav Shechol Bay Akum Vein Yisrael Reil. Milk that was milked by a non Jew, and the Jew did not watch the milking. So the Gemara, the Mishnah says, if a, guy, if a non-Jew milked a cow and a Jew didn't supervise the milking, so then the milk is not kosher. This is what the Gemara says. Now, like we learned the other day, um, certain times the Chacham made a decree, the definition of it was they gave the reason right away, and uh, then if the reason doesn't apply, the, the decree ne- doesn't necessarily apply. But when the... Chacham gave a decree without any reason, and a year later they gave the reason, so then the din is, even if the decree stays, uh, the, the, even though the reason doesn't apply, the decree still stays. So, the logical reason of why the Chacham made the decree, and they gave this out a year later, was because a lot of farmers would have non-kosher milk, pig's milk. Okay, the din is, uh, Eggs that come from a kosher an- a bird are kosher. Eggs that come from a non-kosher bird are not kosher. Like ostrich eggs are not kosher because an ostrich is not a kosher bird. Uh, sturgeon eggs, you know, which expensive caviar is from st- sturgeon eggs. So sturgeon is not a kosher fish. So the caviar, that caviar from sturgeon is not kosher. The same thing. Milk from a kosher animal is kosher. Milk from a non-kosher animal is not kosher. So milk, milk is a kosher animal. It's milk, a, cow, a cow is a kosher animal, so the milk is kosher. A goat is a kosher animal, so the, the, the goat's milk is kosher. But pig's milk, camel milk, or all those types of milk, because they come from a non-kosher animal, so therefore they're not, they're not kosher. So simply the reason when the Chachamim made the decree was that there might be farmers that have pigs together with the cows, and they might mix in the non-kosher milk, the pig's milk, with the cow's milk, and therefore the milk would be treif. That's the logical reason behind it. So if, therefore, there's a whole discussion in Alocha. What happens if there's no impure animal in the farm? You have a farm and there's no non-kosher animal. Or... Some people want to say there are government regulations that don't allow to mix this government supervision and they don't allow to mix in pig's milk. So there's an argument, even in halacha, forget according to Chassidus in Kabbalah, but according to halacha, there's two opinions in halacha. Some opinions in halacha say, okay, so then you could rely on the government uh, checking it out and therefore they're afraid to mix pig's milk into it and therefore you could rely on it. Other achreinim write, no, the Chacham made a decree, it doesn't matter. A guy milked the cow, a Jew didn't watch the milking, it's not kosher. That's, so you have in, in the Betul Rabbinic decree. It goes so far that according to the Ramah, that not only if somebody, let's say, cooks this cholavakum, cholavakum means cholav of a guy, that a guy milked, not only are you allowed to drink the milk, it even forbids the, ves- the, the vessels. So if somebody cooked, let's say, non chol of Yisrael in a pot, the pot is treif, you have to kosher it. So a person is going kosher, let's say, advancing in kosher from non chol of Yisrael, from non chol of Yisrael to chol of Yisrael, and Shechun says you have to kosher the kalim. That's what the Ramah writes. For instance, interestingly, from non glat to glat meat, you don't have to kosher the kalim. Because non-glat, non-glat meat is also kosher. Uh, glat meat is better, sta- higher standard of kashris. But going from a lower standard to a higher standard, you can't say you have to kosher the kalim. But the Ramah holds that from down Chol of Yisrael, that's mamish treif. And if it's treif, mamish, then you have to kosher the kalim. This is what the, the, that's the extent of fire it holds. So there are contemporary poskim that say that today, like we just mentioned, that because there's government regulations on the farms, and therefore they're not going to, and they're afraid of big fines if they don't listen to the government, so then you could be lenient 
uh, on the milk, and in fact, they changed its name to Chol of Stam. Chol of Akum means it's Mabish, the Gemara says it's Treif. The Mishnah says, you know, I'll it. But uh, some Paschim say there's something called Chol of Stam. Stam means plain milk. It wasn't milked by a Jew, but because it's government regulations, so then you could be lenient. By the way, this din, people should be aware of this. Even that leniency that they say is only in a government, where, in a country where there are regulations and there's no pigs in the farm. But if you go to Europe, let's say, or to uh, Africa or uh, Asia, where there are no, as everybody knows, China, there's no government regulations whatsoever. So then according to all opinions, you wouldn't be allowed to drink that milk. Because it's real call of vacuum. But so as long as you have these big companies that have uh, like OUD products in in uh, the US, they have manufacturing and also in the UK. Would a person be able to I mean in terms if of if there's a hexer on the milk O O K D or O U D which means OU dairy. Now the OU and the OK do not necessarily guarantee it's Chol Yisrael. In fact, officially they don't. Uh, unless if they write Chol Yisrael on it. There's a lot of cheeses. But they're guaranteeing that it's only kosher and kosher and Yeah, but then there's... And they're relying on government supervision. They're relying on the government supervision. A lot of Paschim disagree with that whole notion in Halacha, besides according to Kabbalah. According to Kabbalah, Chol of Akum, Chol of Stam is... Not good at all. But even according to them, they disagree because the big companies that are multi-million dollar companies don't care about a $25,000 fine. I mean, for them, it's, it's a joke. And uh, so therefore, they disagree even with their basic premise in, in, in the... Um, then there's some people that say, okay, you can't drink the milk, but the vessels don't become trace. So there's a whole debate and discussion in Allah. Might be what? Why aren't eggs even in a chai? Huh? Why aren't eggs even in a chai? Why? It be. Why isn't honey that comes from a bee treif? That's a very, that's a very different question. Same question. No, it's not because that's the product that, that, that was in the, in the flower and the. Okay, so it's the same, same similar kind. Yeah, of course it's different. Because a, a bee doesn't lay uh, honey. <laughs> but the Gemara Mechairis discusses why milk and eggs are not even in a chai. It's the Gemara Mechairis. But you're not allowed to a live limb of an animal. So if somebody has milk from a cow, why isn't that called li a limb from the animal? Because it's not a limb. Okay, and an egg. Okay, so the Gemara learned out, because, but the Gemara asked the question, why isn't it an Eva And the Gemara answered, because the quote from Tzukim, that it's not, uh, it consists, not an Eva Menachai. And B, by the way, the Gemara says the reason is, because it doesn't, it, it takes, the, the, it doesn't come from the bee. It gets the nectar from the flower, and it just keeps it in his mouth, and then it makes honey out of it, but it's not produced by the bee. The bee is just transporting it from the, the uh, flower to the honey. And that's why it's not a problem. So are we going by the tray? If it's, it's equipment, um, how about equipment or we? In Chabad, well, that's what Drama holds. But in Chabad, we hold Taki after kosher the Kalim. What about the equipment stuff that power, that, you know, or your TE or? No. <laughs> not if you keep Chol Yisrael. Because the kalim are treif, and they're using the same kalim. In other words, when a Chol of Yisrael company, there's only one company, J and J, that has its own farms. Okay, to my not, not I'm not talking about Eretz so I'm talking about here. So what they do is they go into a farm, and they kosher the utensils. Now they have to the, the, What's the biggest problem? Where there's heat. Now the pasteurizer gets up to 180 degrees. When they pasteurize milk, it gets up to 180 degrees. So how do they kosher the pasteurizer? First of all, we learned you can't use it for 24 hours. 
then it has to be clean, right? It has to be clean and then not used for 24 hours. But then there's another issue in halacha, is kashering it at 180 degrees, is that sufficient? Because normally in halacha you have to kasher something when it bubbles, when it was bubbling, boiling, which is 212 degrees at sea level, depending where you are, in, but at sea level it's 212 degrees. Pasteurizers only get up to 180. So that's another argument. Is that called, if you, because it becomes trafe with 180, so sometimes they cash the machines with 180. Those that are stricter, the companies actually kosher the, the, the pasteurizer to 212. They add things into the equipment that allows it to get up to 212. So that's why you see sometimes the thing that it cash it at 212. Huh? Yeah, certain things. It says cash it at 212. Why can't the companies can go more than 180? Because they, how could they go more than 180? No, can, why? can they? You have to change the equipment a little bit. So some play, people do it, some people don't do it. So it depends again how, how it uh, goes. Now, if we hold the equipment is not kosher, O-U-D-E means it's power, but it's made on dairy, dairy equipment. So if you keep Chol Yisrael, they don't cash it. Even if you don't keep Chol Yisrael, if it's DE, you need to know that you can't eat it together with meat. You can eat it right before meat, right after meat, but you can't eat it with meat. So that's why even if you don't keep Chol Yisrael, it's important to know what DE is and not DE. But lately, they don't do DE anymore. Cashless organizations rarely do it. They all changed. If it's dairy equipment, they're at OUD or OKD. The DE is stopping already. That's why we see on how stuff or UD. On what? We see on or UD. Yeah, because it's made in. The, so sometimes it can have dairy ingredients. But even if it's part of ingredients completely, the reason why they write OUD is because it was made on dairy equipment. What? Whatever. But. So it's a super because of someone's house. They don't keep following that. Well, if it's hot, it's a problem. If it's not hot, it's not a problem. Again, that is separate issue. It has to be discussed. Okay, let's